So I wanted to make a video today about how to prepare for an audition. Whether you're auditioning for a school ensemble or maybe a youth orchestra or youth choir or something, any sort of audition. And I spent about two hours making a video, an ASMR video, but it turns out it was a little creepy. How to prepare for an audition. Instead, decided to make a Let's Play video of me playing Fortnite. I've never played it before, so I'm gonna look like an idiot playing this game that no one even cares about anymore because it's not popular anymore. Unless it is, I don't know. Anyway, let's talk a little bit about auditioning. The purpose of auditioning is to make sure that the players or the singers are in the correct group. We don't want you to be in a group that's too hard or that's too easy. Is this me? I guess so. Do I press play? What do I do now? Am I supposed to choose a name or something? Play at the top. Um, oh, it's matchmaking. Okay. So you, you audition so that the director or the teacher can put you in the right place so that you are not too bored or too challenged by what group you're in. Tap to rotate. I should read this stuff. I'm not going to. When you audition, you want to make sure that you have looked at what they want, what the teacher wants. Okay, this is how I move. So I have, oh, it's loading. Did I ruin it? Okay, so I have this ax. Are there any trees I can chop down? Let's go get a tree. So when you're auditioning, you want to find out exactly what they want, what the director's looking for. Okay, some directors will tell you exactly what they want, and some will let you choose what you want to play or sing, and some will uh, let you kind of do both. So do I just hang out in this balloon? Where am I going? Oh, I jump out. Is that what that is? Oh! So I'm jumping now. Whee! How long does it take to land? Do I die if I land? Should I try to go to water? Will, it, will I die if I go in the water? I don't know. So if they're going to let you pick what you want to play, you want to pick something for your audition that shows how well you can play. So pick something that's that's hard enough that will impress the person listening but not something that's too difficult that you'll sound bad on. So you want to sound good on it, but you don't want to pick something that is too easy either. So you kind of have to find that, that perfect, um, that perfect balance there. Okay. Um, if you, if they're letting you choose what you're going to play, am I supposed to land in the water? Well, I don't need to now. All right. Okay, I'm going to land, I think. If you, if they, oh, okay, I have an axe. Cool. So do I go, like, harvest rocks and stuff? So um, if you can, uh, when when you get to pick what you want to play, they often will want you to pick two uh, contrasting. You can. Look, I'm harvesting bricks. Yeah. So they'll let you... Um, they often want you to do contrasting pieces. So what they mean by a contrasting piece is some, uh, y you can pick something that is lyrical, meaning something slow and beautiful that can show off your tone. And you want to pick something that's different than that. So something usually pretty technical. So something usually that's fast and, and kind of flashy and you can show off um, how how technical you can play. By having two contrasting pieces, that will allow you to show your musicality. Can I get in this car? Oh, am I harvesting the car? I guess not. I'm just going to run this way. Should I get this branch? This bush? Nope, can't get the bush. Um, so when you, when you go to an audition live... Or, or recorded, either way. You want to make sure that you um, are presentable. So wear something that makes you look nice. Um, that doesn't necessarily have to be concert black, although that would be a good idea. But um, at least dress up nice so that you look like you you didn't just get out of bed and you're wearing like flip-flops and a tank top or, or uh, shorts or something. So dress up in, in something nice that, that you can look professional in. 
Okay. Um, if you're going live to the, uh, the audition, meaning you're going to be there in person, then, oh, look, there is, can I go in here? Oh, oh, what can I do? Oh, is that milk? Okay. Can I eat the milk? I can harvest. Oh, I harvested all that stuff. I don't know what to do with that harvesting stuff. Can I pick that up? I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm not going to read. So that's it. I'm going to pick whatever that is up. Cool. Am I supposed to hide in here? I don't know where to go. Just going to run. Um, when you show up, try to show up a little early. Um, it looks better to be early than late. So certainly don't be late to the audition. And if you're able to warm up. So what I mean by that is play through your stuff, play some long tones, get your muscles and your mind going so that you're not, uh, you're not cold, I guess. Um, you want to warm up so that you're you're ready to go. Um, breathe, especially breathe. Make sure that you know. That make sure that you uh, breathe enough. <laughs> that helps you calm down. You don't want to be nervous. Okay, you want to play the best you can, but you don't want to be nervous either. If you're super nervous, you're not going to play well. I don't know what all this stuff is. Books? I don't want to read. I'm just gonna, can you jump? I don't even know how to jump. Wait, is that what this stuff is? <gasps> oh, jumping. Okay, so I don't know what to do in here. Can I sit down and read a book? Um, so what to say when you're, well, let's let's talk about the, uh, the video. So if you're gonna do a video recording for your audition, a few things, you wanna, you want the, the video to be as nice and clean looking and sounding as possible. So whether that means you're using a phone or you're gonna use a camera, do whatever you can, use whatever you're able to that will make it look and sound nice. You want good lighting, you don't want your little sisters yelling in the background or your dog or whatever. So you make sure that you have a place where you can record yourself and you can hear it. Um, you might need to test the microphone so there's no clipping. Clipping is when it's so loud that it gets that screechy sound. Are these tents over here? Can I go sleep in a tent? I'm gonna go in the tent. How do I go in that tent? I don't know if I can. Can I harvest the tent? I don't know. There's fire. Um, and a rock. I can harvest this rock. Yeah. Um, do as many takes as you need, but don't edit the video. So you want to make it look like you did it in one take, but do as many takes as you need. If you're doing a recording, you might as well get a nice recording with you playing well. So do several takes and, and use the best one. Ooh, can I go swimming? Oh, this is fun. Survival medal. Okay, so that means I'm doing well in the game, I guess. Um, so uh, set up the camera. Make sure it's nice. Make sure that you can... that. That the camera, the person watching, can see you. You, the, you. I would have the top of your head at least down to maybe your waist. You can either sit or stand, whatever's best. But um, make sure they can see you and see the instrument. Now what to say. You want to be clear. Say your name. Um, what piece you're going to play. If you have an, a piano accompanist, then make sure you introduce him or her. Oh, there's a little log cabin. Let's see if I can go in there and maybe eat some food. Um... If you were able to pick your piece, it's probably a good idea to say what you're playing so that, so that the the people watching the recording, or if you're live, that they know what you're playing. And Oh, did I just get a gun? I don't know how to use it. Oh, I can crouch. Can I harvest this bed? I just like my axe. <gasps> oh, I just... Oh, can I jump out of here? Whee! Boom! Okay. Um, so make sure that you, that you're clear in what you say. Um, you might want to say how old you are or what grade you're in. It depends on the situation. Um, but yeah, try to be as calm as you can. You'll do great. Um, uh, the, the teacher or the director wants you to do well and they're looking for good players. So if you're a good player, do the best you can. And if you don't make the audition, that's okay. There'll be somewhere else you can play some, something else you can do. Um, once again, you, if you didn't make it in and you weren't ready and prepared enough, it's probably a good idea you didn't make it in because 
um, it might be too hard for you and you would not have a good experience. So trust what the director or the, the audition committee is trying to tell you because they, uh, they only want what's best for you and what's best for the group. You can do this. So yeah, this has been my video on auditioning. I don't think I've played this game correctly because I think you're supposed to like fight somebody, but I've harvested some stuff. So this is the very first time I've ever played this game. And uh, we'll see. Oh, can I cross this? Can I harvest this bridge? Nope. Maybe I want to go swimming. So I'm going to jump. Whee! Okay, have fun. I'm going to go swim. You guys have a great, uh, a great time of it. <laughs> and uh, I'll catch you on the flippity flip. Mm -hmm.